Hello everyone and welcome back for our next episode in our Doom playthrough. Well, I feel like I got redemption in the last episode as we not only made it through a lot of really big fights, but I took on the final rune challenge and I took it out in just two turns. Oh. That was so fantastic. But I definitely left you guys all on a big cliffhanger and myself as we stopped right before this thing called the Cyber Demon. And from the codex entries, he looks like he's going to be big. If by some chance it's your first time finding the channel, welcome, hope you have a fantastic time. And if you do have an awesome time, it would really help me out if you consider smacking that subscribe button. All right, you guys have waited long enough and I've waited long enough to see what's gonna happen on the other side of this door. Is the Cyber Demon gonna rip me a new one? <laughs> Only one way we're gonna find out. All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, I can only imagine what's about to take place. Anything that makes Samuel laugh before telling me what I'm gonna go fight, it can't be a good sign, right? And they are stocking me up. Now, part of me wonders, is it gonna be a one-on-one -on -one battle or is there gonna be a fleet of demons assisting this character? Uh, okay, let's go with, whoa, not that. We're going to switch to this. And I was really, surprisingly, having a lot of luck and fun with this thing. That seems like two rapid fire type weapons. I feel like that's a good way to go running in here. All right, wish me luck, everybody. Sounds like I'm going to need it. how big that door is. Oh my gosh. It didn't even wait. Is it just an open room? Oh! Can I glory kill this thing? Wow, it actually has a health bar. Oh boy. Are those, are those homing missiles? Whoop. boy and it's got a jetpack what's up with that Ooh. oh yikes look at the ground look at the ground oh boy oh dang it I thought I moved whack uh, I did not I'll switch to the big gun Next. Oh. Okay. Woo. Tear him up. Let's do this. Oh. I wonder if this guy's going to have like waves of attacks. Oh, I jumped it. Come on, let me glory kill you. Oh! Is that just like the first piece? Oh! <laughs> Dang! Look at that! Oh, he's back. Watch. I knew that was too easy. Not cool. Ooh. Oh, come on, dude. Get up. Oh. Come on. What you got? Big gun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh crap. What are you doing? Oh, low ammo. No, not that for sure. Oh crap. I need to. Okay. Uh, let's go with. Oh, I got ammo backboard again. Somehow. Ooh, come on. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Where'd he go? Oh, dang it. I got stuck. Come on, go down. Oh, get up to it. Oh, Ooh. 
Please be dead, dead. I ain't got much health. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that, everybody! <laughs> oh! Redemption is nice. We got a new entry. I had a feeling, I was like, he's he was a little too easy on that first wave. I was like, I got a feeling that we're going to fight him again somehow. I thought he was going to have to like tear him apart piece by piece. Considered to be the most significant marker of success in the development of Argent Organic Research, the Cyber Demon is the flagship creation of the Lazarus Project. Oh. Well, I've defeated the flagship. It can't get any worse from here, right? The symbiotic union of a Bolgar demon found during the second Project Lazarus manned expedition, MTC-2148-177, and an Argent accumulator, this beast is capable of withstanding so much punishment that the creature must be kept in permanent suspended animation. Repeated attempts to subdue the beast proved unsuccessful as when exhausted, the cyber demon simply replenishes its life force from the accumulator and attacks again with greater ferocity. That it did. Only by removing the Argent implant can the beast be restrained. The cyber demon remains in stasis until a suitable method of control can be found. Right here, baby, and a glory killed it. I was really hoping I could glory kill that thing. That was fantastic. Okay, I'm up to nine on the weapon deal here. My goodness. Uh, I think I've, yeah, I bought everything for you. Oh, I have not bought that one. We might go with that. Got yours. Um, man, this thing. Demons hit by stun bomb. I this is great. I just forget to use the actual stun bomb side of it. All right, we're going with that. I'm definitely using that gun more than I was before. No, no rocket launcher stuff. I will use this pistol before I use that rocket launcher. I make that. I make that promise to you. <sighs> Normally, rocket launchers are something I enjoy in a game, but not with that trial. Okay. I guess we're good to go. Uh, was there anything showed up on the map here? Oh, look at this. We're returning. So that's that's probably the portions of hell like I had been to, or is that just is that the reactor that we were going through? Maybe that's the reactor. Hmm. Well, we went through all that, didn't we? Maybe not. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm so happy with the fact, you know, I didn't even think about trying to use this big thing on that guy. I wonder if that was a really missed opportunity. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll go with this for now. That was a very successful start to the episode, if you ask me. Look at that. I even found everything but the one. That was probably whatever the lever was. Oh. Oh, man, that was so good. Titan's Realm. In the libraries of the Lazarus Lab, you learned of an artifact that can sever the connection between our two worlds known as the Crucible. If you can retrieve the Crucible, you can use... That must be the name of that big thing that we saw. You can use it to close the well and shut down the Argent Tower permanently from inside hell. Yeah, but can I get out before... It, we shut it down. Look at that giant hand coming up out there. Titan's Realm. What's this going to look like? Dang. Oh, look at that. That is like a spine. <laughs> oh, it's huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we got trick shot. Kill a lost soul with another lost soul? Okay. Uh, adopt the mountain. Perform a death from above glory kill on a baron of hell. I might be able to pull that one off. Kill 20 demons while using power ups. I think I'll be able to pull that one off too. Okay, let's take a little look. See if we can spot any of the... Well, it's actually not letting me zoom in very close on that one yet. 
that that's as close as it's letting me get down there. Okay. Well, I don't see any action figures listed up here, but I did see there's a codex entry up here. Probably something to deal with what this place is we just found. That's insane. Look how big everything is. Suddenly our cyber demon doesn't seem so so big and impressive, you know? Checkpoint reached. Okay, I want to make sure I get the... Here it is, over here. Is it still voice log? That's crazy. Uh, you know what? I just realized I think I want to switch to Disa one. Man. I'm going to jump down in the mouth of this thing. Boom. Hello. Yeah, your way's up there. Oh. I got him, but he got me too. And another one. Oh, I backed into it. Okay. We definitely still got music going on. My goodness, there's blood everywhere. Okay. I was going to try to glory kill one of those suckers, but they all stayed up so high I couldn't get to him. Okay, well, we can see what's down here now, can't we? Uh, I'm gonna... Wait, I'll check that here in a second. So we got... There's one action figure there. And there's one over there. Okay, one kind of cent... Uh, yeah, kind of center and one off to the left. How far ahead of me? That's not too far in front. Okay. I gotta say, this gun is pretty nice. The rapid fire, I I'm enjoying it a lot more than I was when I first started using it. Hello, big boy. Oh, there's there's a few of you. Oh, wrong button. Uh, let's go with something more like these. Boom! Can you take two of these? Oh, oh, he got me. Huh. Hello. Ugh. Eat that. <laughs> ah. Very satisfying. Out of ammo, it says 12. What are you talking about, out of ammo? I guess it's not enough for a whole bullet. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's all right. Uh, all right, guess we're going with this. I'm switching back to my scope. There we go. Guess I don't need any of that ammo. Alright, who else still wants to play? I'm coming for y'all. Gotcha. Oh, look at this. I got a nice. Yeah, I ain't even letting you guys get close. Look at you. He's hiding behind that pillar. I don't think so. I got a scope, dude. <laughs> That's what I thought. Now, where's your little buddy? There we go. There's another one. Ooh, ah. Checkpoint reached. That worked really well. Will the green stuff hurt me? I should probably find out sooner than later. I'm going to assume it will, but... It don't look very inviting. Oh, what's this down here? No, under. 
Oh, yep, it does. Okay, I wanted to check. Oh, I'm still getting hurt. Oh, I can't even be in the pit. Oh, I thought if I was like on ground without it, maybe I was okay. All right, anything on this side? I don't see anything on that side. Definitely sound like something opened up though. Oh, that room off to the left, or to the right. That's what it was. Thank you. Does that give me three? Two. I need one more before I can get the uh, next upgrade, I think. Do I need... Oh, let's go ahead and do this. So I get rid of that exclamation. Um, four. Okay, so I need two more. All right. That was pretty good. That was the perfect time to switch over to... There's a beating heart here. <laughs> I can't do anything about the beating heart. Oh, drone did something wrong. He's locked up. <laughs> because you probably ran away from somebody who was trying to get information out of you. That's my guess. Okay, so obviously I have to try to come into that from the other side. Okay, I don't really see any big secrets right here. Whoop! I wonder how you make one of those destroy another one. That seems kind of weird. Off with your head. Oh, and yours. Oh, crap. Not you. Ooh! What, can you not come? Can't come past that door? Ooh! Oh! Uh. <laughs> That was worth the risk. Okay. I thought maybe if I killed them close together, that would make them blow up into one another or something? I don't know. I do like all this extra armor I can run around with now. That's been nice. Thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, they're in here too. There you go. I know your buddies are all behind me. Yeah. Try to set a poopy trap up for me. What's that all about? I don't think so. Ooh, they were even stashing some goodies for me. Okay. Okay, this is underneath, that's fine. Let's see, did this open up by any chance? My guess is there's gonna be one of those skulls I need to push in somewhere, kind of like how we opened up that last passage. Is there by some chance a... Uh... Something to push? Hmm. I don't see anything there. Any levers? Those levers really blend in. The few that I've found, I'm almost shocked that I found them, you know? Aha! Here we go. I bet that did it. Did it lower it from the other side, maybe? Oh! I was like, wait, I hear thumping. Woo! You gotta get that big juicy belly. I ain't running on you. You're too far away. Checkpoint reach. There we go. Not that I really have anything I'm trying to, to get for this, but... So we got both those, both those. Turret mode! Hold the weapon button to transfer the weapon barrel into mobile turret. It will stall if it overheats. I'm curious. I don't quite understand what it's saying. 
Can I plant it? Let's see what it means. Uh, secondary firing crucible and compression chamber can be added to the weapon. This modification unbalances the weapon, so remaining stationary while firing is recommended. When used, the weapon fires at twice the normal rate. This thing fires like crazy already, expending twice the ammunition and superheating the muzzle. Although this modification presents the most powerful suppression in the UAC arsenal, other than the BFG prototype project, the system can and will overheat if not used cautiously. Yeah, I don't think I want to use that mode. This thing fires so fast already. The thought of standing still? I don't think so. Okay, so I'm on this. And this, although it's almost out, almost out of bullets. Let's switch over to... You know what? Let's go with this. No. This and... It didn't give me the right things. There we go. We'll go with those two for the moment. Alright, thanks, bot. I keep finding shotgun shells laying around anyways that I'm not getting used, so... Let's use them. All right. Oh boy. I might've picked a bad time to decide to switch that. Whoop. Oh, you're in pieces. There's some health. Oh, that music is amazing. Oh. Ooh. Oh, you really pushed me back. Boom! Oh, he busted open. Oh, that was nuts. Oh, what have we here? Hey, watch out. That's, oh, I jumped on him with both feet. Oh. oh that was crazy. Ooh. Always feels good to come back to the shotgun. Especially in super mode. Ooh! I pulled your plug. Oh, I was gonna say there was somebody else right here. I can't hardly see him though. Whoop. See it. Nice. Oh! Jump. Sneaking up on me like that, as usual. <laughs> Low ammo already. Okay. Man, I am tearing these guys up. You know, I don't want to brag or nothing, but my goodness. Yeah, I want to brag. Totally want to brag. Yeah, where are you sliding now? Huh? Oh, how'd you make it all the way to me? They take way too many bullets. It's all right. Oh, we got him. So satisfying. Every bit of that was super satisfying. <laughs> In case anybody's wondering, nope, difficulty's not been changed. I'm still on ultraviolet. I am just on fire tonight. Okay. Oh, you know what? There were those shotgun. Let's see if we can go back and pick these up. I was like, man, I'm playing so good. Someone's going to probably be like, dude, you lowered your setting, didn't you? I'm like, nope, I didn't. I promise I wouldn't do that to y'all. I'd tell you if I did. And if I haven't lowered it by this point, I don't think I'm going to. Even if I have to, like, if the boss fight, I'm assuming there's, like, a final boss fight. Even if it's absolutely brutal, I'm probably going to stick it out at this point because uh, I've played too far into the game to give it up now. Y'all know what I mean. Look at that. It almost looks like a smile at first. <laughs> Oh, no, thanks, sir. I don't like that. Okay, before we click on that... Ooh, okay. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, not yet. As inviting as that was. Is it over here? Oh, I don't actually... I, I've not... 
it looked like I had a path that could get me there, but unless there is something that I open up, a lever or a passage maybe? Any skull to push in that? Oh, what is that? Oh, is that something that's going to shoot me up? I got to check it. Yep. All right. Oh, we got a big health thing over there. Oh, I bet that's where that thing's going to teleport me. Are there any skulls that... Ooh, what have we here? Oh, that's probably one of those little Argent bomb things. I think that's what they were called. I don't remember. Okay, I don't see any skulls that opened up to be pushed in. So maybe I maybe I get to those in another fashion. Oh. Sure sounds like there's somebody already out here. Let's spring the trap. Shall we? Maybe. Ooh. Wow, this area is enormous. Oh, we got music kicking in. Anything else down there? Oh, yep. It looks like there might be an entry. Oh, it might be too late, though. I think I done sprung the trap. Let the fun begin. You know what? I'm going to take out one of these big guys. Oh, how you like that? <laughs> oh, that was a dirty trick on my part, and I loved it. Where'd the big guy go? Can I use... Oh, it's not enough. Dang it, he's a fiver. Oh, good to know. Oh, I'm stuck. This is not a good spot to be. Oh! Ugh. Here, I'm throwing something back your way. Anything behind me? <laughs> I did not play that very smart. I think I adapted okay, but... Whoa! Ooh, I can get this now. Thank you. Now let's go back. Splat. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh! What a lucky hit. That's what I thought. Beat me up. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Oh. Wrong button. Ugh. Here you go. Boom. Ah. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, music's kicking in louder. Come on. There we go. Now we got the boost right. Oh, we got two of these guys. Whoa. Look at all that armor I just picked up. That's beautiful. All right, where'd you go, big guy? I got to make sure I can see both of them so that one doesn't get me while the other one is eking up on me. Come start blinking. Oh, start blinking. There we go. All right, that takes care of one. <laughs> He's juicy. You know, I was just thinking, we haven't seen a summoner in a while. We haven't. Oh, that's for hitting me. Gotcha. Oh, the big guy's right next to me. Oh, crap. Woo! Thank you. Oh, there's another big guy. You know what? I bet I could chainsaw one of these guys now. Oh, right through the middle. <laughs> ah! All right, where's your buddy? There he is. My bullets travel faster. I got to... Where's it? Oh, 
Oh, I gotta get a, a top-down kill on one of those guys. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. He got there a little quicker than I was expecting. All right, come here. Ooh. Oh, I forgot they can throw. I got two guys here launching stuff at me. Come on, start blinking. Oh, I don't know if that was a top down. I don't think it was. Oh, good, there's another one. <laughs> oh, good, there's another one. That's when you know you really want the, the challenge. You celebrate that another big creature shows up. Whoop! Oh, I missed a grab. All right, here he is. Oh, that was not good. All right, dude, I'm getting tired of you. Let's get something, uh... Let's get something fun to take care of you. Nope, there he is. There he goes. Now he's in pieces. Oh, I'm so tense right now. <laughs> so tense. Boom! Oh, I killed it! <laughs> he fell apart in like three pieces. Oh, what a fight! And I pulled it off on my first attempt. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like a demon slayer again. Alright, run around seeing what all I can pick up. Now, can I go back? Has something maybe opened up in that other area? Now, the fact that they kind of allow me to teleport back. Remember, there were a couple things that I couldn't get to. Hmm. Bummer. Is there another? Oh, I heard like a little kid laughter or something. There's some really weird sounds going on here, isn't there? Okay. Mm, it looks like I have not gone. Oh, no. That's where I got to go to get on the other side. That's how I continue that section. All right. Well, bummer. If I find any uh, skulls to, like, push in, I'm definitely going to have to come back here and see if anything opened up. All right, I might be able to get to that action figure now. And it looks like there might be a codex entry. Oh, over here somewhere. Mm. Oh, I passed it up. Behind this? Straight ahead right here. Okay, if that is a thing, I'm going to guess there's a lever around here somewhere. What's this? Hmm. There's so... There's so much area here. It's kind of hard to make sure I've checked it all. Okay. Okay. It seems so quiet after doing all that chaos, running around, and shooting and everything else, and then it's like, oh, just kind of strolling around now. Bloody walls everywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's check this side. I see some shotgun ammo I can pick up. Behind me. Ah ha ha. Got another one. Alright, what's this one called? Got a weapon upgrade. This one is Keen Guy? I'm not familiar with that. Or that look. I don't know what that might be from. I don't know what Keen Guy is. Typically these seem to have a relation to some other game or something, but you guys have to let me know what Keen 
King Guy is a part of. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, when I look underneath here, it sure looks like that power-up is, like, right there. Maybe, oh, wait, hold on a second. Maybe I get, ooh, okay. I think I get to that. Not power-up, I'm sorry, the data entry. Looks like I maybe get to that from the other side. Okay, that makes me feel better. So we need to go on across this way. This was a really fun place to be running around fighting. Lots of space while uh, giving you lots of stuff to pick up along the way. Okay, well, how do I get over to the next area? Mm. Is it under? The fact that this looks so significant makes me think that I gotta do something with that. Oh, just tell me I gotta go here. Oh, here we go. Map updated. Over here. Ah! <laughs> now we got it all. Okay, so that was the auto map. That wasn't a data entry. I was confused on that. Now. Okay, I guess uh, we'll keep going forward. It says I got something here. Ooh, environments. Titan's Realm. After the disastrous Project Lazarus manned expedition, MTC 2145-128, it was decided... <laughs> I'm sorry I read that every time. It just feels like I'm supposed to. <laughs> It was decided to avoid Kaniger Sanctum until the environment was more conducive to human exploration. The second Project Lazarus Manned Expedition, MTC 2148-177, was changed to a new location, an area referred to as the Great Steep. The Corax tablets describe this area in detail, through the Titan's realm and down, down to the Great Steep where the trophies of victory are kept through the ages. These false idols banished to a wasteland, their towers fallen, their foundations ground to dust, their hollowed halls kept empty as crucial reminders that civilization shall fall before the ascension of the Great Ones. Hmm. Okay, I'm up to seven on the weapons. What is it I'm supposed to be doing for Master? Kill 30 stunned demons. Oh! Seems like that'd be easy enough to do. Um... I guess I'll just keep saving them for now. I don't really have anything that I'm trying to... I guess I got the last one and get here for the micro-missiles. I'm sure I'll dabble with that a little bit still. Especially when ammo gets low, you know? You gotta kind of work with what you got. Ooh. Do you guys see what I'll see? Did it just... Oh, no, that was just telling me it updated. I see... Skull guys. Ooh, ah. They were just hovering there waiting. <laughs> Shoot fish in a barrel. Oop, there's one. One more fish. Two more fish. Oh boy. A lot of fish. Off of the heads. These guys go down quick if you just take the heads off. Boom! That almost seemed like cheating. And I'm alright with that. Okay, it goes up there. Hmm. Blue door. Okay, we do have the other action figure not far from here. I guess hear that. Oh, that sounds uh, intimidating. Oh, we got another one of these deals. Okay. Kind of checking the place out a little bit here. It goes up. Oh, I jumped too early. I saw the I saw the action figure. 
try again. There we are. Yeah! That was like a silver guy. Cyber Demon is the model that was unlocked there. That makes sense. Even though he wasn't really that metallic. He didn't, he didn't, I mean, obviously he had some stuff going on there. Check this. Ah! Oh, keep using giant mouths. Ooh, got it. Oh. Well, that I didn't expect to open. Is that where I'm supposed to go next? Oh. Okay. Yellow skull. Uh. Hello? Let me in. <laughs> I guess I got a chance of getting crushed right there if I don't play my cards just right, don't I? Ooh! He'd booby trapped. And I was playing Indiana Jones. Okay. Did anything else change over here? I mean, that's a really big room. I feel like there's still more we got to do with this. Let's do a quick look. Can I put that skull I just found into this? Or I go put it in this thing over here? Okay. I think I see what's going on here. Oh, no, that's blue. And I found yellow skull. So I do need to go, because the yellow door was on the other side of this thing. Tormented souls, maybe? Okay. Let's get our way back up there. Got some guys here with some soldiers and arrows? Who came down here with arrows and swords? That tells me that wouldn't work too well in this situation. Alright. See if we can make this jump again. Whoop. Yep. There we go. What's my other? Yeah, we'll go this for the moment. And jump. Up. <laughs> I turned around expecting to be a bombarded with a bunch of enemies, but I guess that's not the case. This is crazy. It's kind of creepy. Giving it almost like a, a haunted vibe. It's kind of wild. Oh, I can't I can't walk around down there, can I? Um see you. This stuff's gonna hurt me, right? More of you? They're so easy. The lowliest of the low. Maybe I can stay on these raised platform sections. Uh, is that a power up? Invulnerability. Oh, nice. I guess I can run around down here at the moment. There we go. I'm still invulnerable, dude. Sucks to be you. <laughs> oh, it wore off. <laughs> ah. Uh. There you go. Do I have to stay down here? Oh, at least a little bit of health, but I don't need it just yet. Let's switch to a... There we go. Is there more down here, or am I just supposed to leave now? I'm getting the vibe I'm supposed to just leave now. Hello! This is for you. Ooh. Oh, there's two of them now. Not cool. 
Uh. Oh! Dang it! I'm stuck! Alright, I'm gonna make sure they're both. <laughs> I'm so tired of those things. I feel like they're taking way too many hits. I mean, that's... That's what I think. <laughs> yes. Again. Overkill. I don't care on those things. Alright. Oh boy, this is a nice room to find. Gain access to. I think after this I only need one more. And I'd be like fully, fully upgraded, right? Yep. Hopefully I can find one more. Alright. Ah! It's on Pinky. I don't like Pinkies. I've only killed 36. I feel like I've fought some more in 36. Pinkies will charge once their prey is detected using a cortical bone plate that covers their face as a battering ram. They accelerate quickly, but have limited control when charging. I don't know. I feel like these guys have managed to like curve around things from time to time to take me out. Their inability to stop quickly or turn makes them vulnerable to charging over ledges. Now that has been helpful or into hard surfaces, stunning them. At close range, the pinky has a significant bite, which it will use to fend off attackers. They have limited visual perception and rely primarily on pheromone detection to locate enemies. The thinner skin on their flanks does not offer as much protection and should be considered a point of weakness. Gnawed carcasses of pinkies have been extracted from portals, suggesting that they are considered a delicacy in hell. <laughs> They're a delicacy, yeah. I don't know if delicacy is the word I would use, but I do enjoy destroying them when I can. Okay. Uh, I should have probably looked at this while I could. Oh yeah, the gate came down. I was like, wait a second. Oh, I just ran right through that. There we go. Up to 125 armor. It is directly in front of me. Is this going to be another booby trap? I've got a feeling it is. Oh. Can I? Nope. <laughs> it was worth a try. Here you go. Boom. Oh, I got to stand still. Oh, what hit me? Something back there hit me. Oh, that guy? What? I thought there was another big character. Maybe I did get him. I can't believe he was curving those bullets all the way up there like that. Boom! <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like stuff falling everywhere. Alright, let's go over here and deal with these guys. Otherwise, they'll be shooting me from across the room. Thank you. Where's, where's he at? Oh, boom! <laughs> ah, That's fantastic. Oh! Huh. Smack! <laughs> Hello. There you go. Got something for you. Oh, I thought I should be blinking by now. Ugh. I went in for the, the blink kill. So that thing keeps coming up and down. So that's what's making all that thumping. Woo! Is there more than one? Am I hearing two thumps? Oh, it's not looking like it. Oh, I am. Oh! Oh, go down. Oh, man, I got a lot of goodies back from that one. I needed it, too. Okay, where's your friend at? There he is. I made him run all that way. Oh. <laughs> That was great. Oh. Went pretty good, too. 
Okay, let's switch to you. And oh, I'm almost at him on that one. We'll go with this. I'm digging this vibe. Oh, can I get? Oh, again, I was dodging what was like when I see that big opening. I just kind of assume it's something I can fall through. I guess better to play it that way than the other, because in the early stages, it's like every time I fell through an, an opening, you know, it was, it was an abyss or something. They haven't been doing that as much to me now. Okay, what's in the area that I have not gotten? It looks like there's a little spot over here. Oh, that's where I came down from, isn't it? Can I go back and push that lever now somehow? Ooh. Oh, if I'd have known that was there, I'd have used that. Look at the weird, there's like some weird teeth on that. Oh, no, wait a minute, that's the jawbone just like disconnected. Okay. Look, you can see behind there. I thought I was going to, I thought I was going to get in some secret passage. All right, well, we got something moaning. Oh, can I go up on that maybe? I wonder if I can get on top of that. Let's try it. Beat me up. Ah, ha, ha. That was sneaky. Uh. Anything else come out? No? Okay, well, I'm going to... Just in case I get an opportunity here. Grab all these goodies here. Hello? <laughs> it's uh, suspiciously quiet. Mm. Wow, we might actually be nearing the end of this section. That's what it's beginning to look like. Max. There's the one we've been looking for. Those things look amazing. I gotta, I gotta say, for a skull, it's pretty impressive looking. Not usually my thing when it comes to. Oh boy, I'm glad it's you guys. <laughs> Monster. What was that? Spectre. Oh, it's something different. I didn't even realize. The Spectre. The Spectre is the unfortunate result of a misguided attempt to genetically modify the pinky. Several pinkies were gathered during the first Lazarus Project tethering operation. MT you know what? I'm skipping it. I'm skipping it this time. I can't do it. MTC 2146-351. It's the first time we've heard of 351. I couldn't do it. Four of the captured beasts were vivisected. While three of these experiments resulted in the death of the subjects, one resulted in a pinky with limited sonic abilities. In an attempt to increase its ocular capacity, the optic nerve of the cockademon was transplanted into the pinky. After the operation, the animal was returned to its enclosure to recover. It is believed that the beast was accidentally released from its pen when its keeper, thinking the invisible spectrum had escaped, opened the gate. Oh, whoops. Several months after the first spectre went missing, the second tethered operation, MTC 2147 Oh, 016. Just admit it. I'm, I'm going to read them all now. I can't skip them. Captured two fertile specimens. Presumably, the original Spectre wandered into the Lazarus Wave testing facility and was teleported back to hell by a summoner. It is unknown how the Spectre managed to breed, but the sonic trait has carried to its offspring. Besides sonic invisibility, there are no known differences between the pinky and the Spectre. Well, okay. That's good to know. You guys just doing experiments on stuff. You don't know nothing about. Oh crap, I'm not using it on them. Oh crap. Oh crap. Whoa. They're fast. Woo. Die. Okay. Oh. Freaked me out there for a second. Oh, there we go. There's another. Oop. Oh. That came at me quick. So did that one. Oh, where are you at? Whew, I got tore up there for a second. Let's try this again. 
Ugh. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, wrong button. There we go. <laughs> Just shooting everybody. I'm tired of having enough leftovers. Woo-wee. I might regret having used all those already. Oh, there's a big one. I jumped right into his face. Man, I feel so slow at the moment. I need to move faster. Okay, where are these guys at? There's only two, right? All right, I think I figured out where they're at, where my spacing is at. Boom! I don't know if that got all the way to him or not. There he goes. Oh, no. His buddy jumped up. Oh, come on. I can't throw another grenade yet. Right in that, right in that jelly spot. Oh. Wow, that grenade's taking a long time to recharge. Going to the other side. Oh. Oh, boy. Where'd you come from? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know anybody else had joined. Oh, and I couldn't get up those steps. All right. I mean, I got a little carried away with, the, with these anyways. At least I know it's coming. I am going to use it here on the Spectres at the beginning, though. Whoop! Okay. Take you out. And you out. Where's your friends? I know there's a couple more. Oh, boy. I'm leaving. Oh, that was close. Is there another one? There he is. Oh! I don't know where the other invisible guy is. Oh! Here. Come here. There. Got one. You guys. I should have known. Oh, shit. Oh, there he is. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. I was ready. Come here. I want to get glory kill. Oh, I killed it. Oh. Yep, I didn't see him until it was too late. He scared me. Okay, I thought there was another eyeball guy. Around here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Oh, let's go with uh, this. There we go. I figured I'd take them both out. blew up the whole top half of them. Alright, now where's your where's your Baron friend? I thought for sure he'd be out here already. There he is. Come here. There we are. <laughs> ah! That round went far better. Okay, I don't see any armor. A lot of health packs, but my health is full. Oh, boy. That's more health. More health. Okay, let's make sure... Okay, we found almost everything. What do we get here? Environment. Oh, we got something else? On the Titan's realm. Uh, number two, probably. Here you go. If you are one of the lucky disciples who will get to experience a pilgrimage to hell, <laughs> there are some preparations you must make on your journey. You must make sure all of your affairs are in order before leaving. Donate all of your belongings, excluding any security-controlled materials, to a Tier 2 advocate and record any final logs you may wish to make. Your savings and assets will be used to fund additional UAC research. Oh, they don't even send it back to, like, family or anything. For the expedition itself, you may wish to consider sedation. Advocates can get overwhelmed during the transition, and a medically administered balancing agent can help ease the excitement. <laughs> excitement. Lastly, prepare your mind for the wonders you will experience. Seeing the remains of a titan is an experience that will buckle the knees of the most steadfast advocate. I will admit that was pretty impressive to see. If you are lucky, you may even get to see a live titan. What? 
If you do, you must record the sighting immediately and hand your storage devices to a scout bot for safety. It is not known if any titans still inhabit the Great Steep, so if you get the chance to be a sacrifice to one of these massive beasts, take it. Wow. I got a feeling I'm going to find a titan before this is over. If I had to guess, I bet there's at least one. Maybe the one we've been hearing in all the voice logs. Where's this taking me? Where am I at? Oh, we got another. Checkpoint reach. Okay, I guess I'm going the right way. Let's hear this. did beat the titan well, hopefully we can get history to repeat itself here okay well I think I found everything that I'm wanting to find are things about to go nuts I got a feeling they are uh, do I have yeah let's switch to you alright I got that thing right out there in the middle I think we're going to go straight for it Ba boom Oh, it's a berserker. Oh! Boom! Oh! Gotcha. Oh! You just ripped it right apart. Oh! Got him! Oh! Oh, I jumped him. Too far. <laughs> like opening a melon, man. That's just nuts! Ooh! Got it. Anything bigger coming out? Oh, the timer just ran out. Oh! Get the little guys here. There you are. Oh, man, that little berserker thing. That is just crazy. All new kinds of, like, kill animations you get from having that. You got lucky on that shot, dude. Ooh, boom! Thank you. Oh, it looks like I can go up here. Oh, I was just talking about y'all summers. Summoners. Ooh, took care of you. Where'd you go? Oh man, those things are tough. Oh, there we go. Oh, still got to that one in time, thankfully. Where you at? Oh, shots are going through the wall. Not fair. Oh, apparently that's the only shot I had left. Uh, here we go. Oh, no, it's going to follow the path. Wow, I'm surprised you haven't summoned a whole bunch of friends out here to fight with you. I ain't complaining. But for a summoner, she really was trying to run that fight solo. Oh, boy. Ugh. Oh, I must have accidentally killed it. Oh, there's another one. Um, you know what? Let's go this route. Oh, I don't have any of those either. 
Oh, I'm out of all my big toys. Oh, not my rocket launcher. I ain't doing it. If it's the only gun I got left, I still ain't doing it. Okay. Looks like we're going super shotgun. Oh. There you are. Ooh. Maybe there's some goodies down here I can go grab. Them. Zigzag a little bit. Hello. Oh. Where'd this bring? It is the same place, right? No, it is a different place. Will they follow me out here? Okay, well, let's grab this. And these. Nope, that's full. Oh, here's some health. Let's go grab this. Thank you. All right, I think this is the one I went through. <laughs> I hope there's not like some huge fleet of creatures in here now. Oh, it's a checkpoint reached. Did it die? Get bored? <laughs> hey, pro tip, guys. If you teleport back, run around, get some health, the summoner will die. Wow. We are on the other side of that now. Okay. Oh, boy. Ooh. What do we got here? Oh, I think this is the last one for Olivia. Before joining the UAC, Olivia was open to discussion about her endeavors and beliefs. She was known to have been an avid world traveler, served a two-year tour of duty with the Global Science Council, and even spent time serving as a missionary in South America, which she noted was a spiritual but frivolous pilgrimage. Since moving to Mars, she has become a recluse, cutting off friends and family to focus on her secretive work with the Lazarus Project. She is rarely seen outside of the lab and no longer attends board meetings or any UAC press events. Past colleagues of Olivia's have noted that this behavior may just mean that she has something spectacular to reveal in the near future. Almost sounds like it. she was a pretty awesome person before all this. It almost, I almost feel bad that it kind of went down the way that it did for her. Because she looked miserable the way it ended. Ugh. Okay. That was a good run. I this I, I messed up. I tried to get it a couple times and I accidentally kept killing him. That's all right though. I don't really need those at this point. Uh, uh, now it's just a matter of just wanting to do it. So. The Necropolis. You fought your way through hell and found the Titan's core, a portal that gets you one step closer to the Crucible and defeating the forces of hell for good. You must crush the Crucible Guardians and retrieve what is yours. The Crucible. When I think Crucible, I think like a big arena where you're gonna be doing a lot of fighting, like against like guardians and stuff. That's kind of what I think of when I think of Crucibles. Reclaim the Crucible. Wow, this place looks pretty big. Okay, well, I think that, oh, gross. Yeah, disgusting. I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode, and we will pick up with The Crucible on the next episode. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>